This is how I want you to appear. And you go there on the other side and say, Ah, I don't feel dressed like that. Or I didn't grow up wearing this kind of thing. So what kind of culture is this? <laughs> My sister, you are not ready. If you start acting that way, you are not ready. Provided I have you here constant. Even when you don't know how to be nice, even if it means pretending. My sister, you need to pretend to be nice. Say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt. Stay with me until the last man falls. I don't need them anyway when I'm with you. I Amazing, wonderful, exquisite family of mine, my special people. Welcome back to another video, guys. I hope you all are doing great. Like, what have you guys been up to lately? What have you been doing? Drop a comment below. Let me know what you've been doing. Because you guys are so special to me. Eh? You guys have been so supportive. You've been so encouraging. You are the reason why I'm able to just rise up in the morning and just grab a camera. And the motivation is on to start filming. So you guys are awesome. Without you, there is no me. So thank you all so much for your support and for always tuning in. And to those of you who are just landing on this channel for the first time, thank you so much for finding Elsie and the girls worth watching. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Just join the exquisite family. Let's continue to roll and do things together. We have a lot going on around here. Apart from discussion times like this, we have other things happening on this channel. Channel. Thank you so much for visiting. Again, don't just be a visitor. Just subscribe and join the exquisite family. Sweet friends, today's topic is going to be quite juicy, special, and very, very important. Of course, it's still going to be centered around our Nigerian men. <laughs> there is so much going on around Nigerian men that I feel like I should just be breaking it down bit by bit, poquito, poquito. That way, you guys can comprehend it very, very very well so i will try as much as i can to not only narrow it to nigerian men because in this case there are a lot of other african men who are living up to their expectations okay it looks like something that is inherent in our african men most of them it is important to know that in life they say nothing good comes easy <laughs> guys i believe in that assertion 100 percent if that thing seems or looks too easy <laughs> you need to pause step aside think think outside the box because that thing is questionable and <laughs> it would land you into serious problems with that being said as generous and as kind or as well-rounded a nigerian man can be there is a price to pay which brings me to today's topic which is keeping a nigerian man as a husband not a boyfriend not a sugar daddy but as a husband so my exquisite ladies if you have heard a lot of positive good sweet things about Nigerian or African men but you are still worried about how to successfully keep them as husbands like really keeping them right here <laughs> don't worry it can be as easy as just eating your favorite meal now this is the only thing you just have to make a conscious effort like you have to be deliberate with some of the steps I'm going to be outlining very very soon okay you just have to make up your mind to succeed with regards to keeping a Nigerian man as a husband so this is like a preparatory terrain for you you need to keep these things at the back of your mind and be reminded of these things whenever you're about to implement them so my sweet ladies you don't need to go to any orioke <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. I'm not sure what I'm saying, but you don't need to visit any baba or go to any messy man. To be able to successfully grab a Nigerian man and keep him right here. It is very easy. God has given you the natural ability, the natural capability of successfully grabbing a Nigerian man and doing what you're supposed to do to keep him here. Okay? So, make use of what you have. I am telling you, by the time you are done dealing with this Nigerian man, eh, even the love potion from Baba will be nothing compared to what will happen to this man once you're done implementing the steps I'm about to outline in a few minutes so guys let's go straight into business <music> 
have to understand the man's tribe and cultural dynamics. This is very, very important because most African men like to identify themselves with their culture, where they come from. So in order for you to capture his mind, you have to deliberately decide to learn the things that he identifies himself with with respect to his culture. So you need to understand how the people from his tribe dress. Are they big on respect? What are the little, little things that people from his tribe do that if you do them, it will capture his mind and make him happy with you? Again, I'm not saying that you should adopt some barbaric <laughs> kind of culture. You should be able to pick out some good cultural values from his tribe. Don't let him run after you and be begging you eh, to adopt some of the things. After all, you are the one that chose to have him as a husband. For instance, the man decides, okay, to okay, we'll go one cultural meeting like that, and I saw I want to make you dress. Dress like this, tie the wrapper like this. This is how I want you to appear. And you go there on the other side, they say, ah, I don't feel dressed like that, or I didn't grow up wearing this kind of thing, so what kind of culture is this? <laughs> My sister, you are not ready. You are not ready. If you start acting that way, you are not ready. It is true that some men don't really care. They ask you to do it this way. You decide to do it another way. <laughs> they will just take it lightly. <laughs> different strokes for different people. So you need to understand your man. You need to know exactly what turns him on. This is where the respect factor comes to play. You have to be very careful. Number two, you need to show his mother love. This point cannot be overemphasized, my people. <laughs> Even if you're the kind of woman that doesn't know how to relate with people, you don't know how to show people love. Listen, when it comes to a Nigerian man's mother or an African man's mother, you don't have a choice but to deliberately make an effort to love them. Hmm? You need to love them in various ways. Gifting, just being nice, checking up on them and all the beautiful things you can think of. If you miss out on these things, you're finding trouble. Mm, you define trouble. See, an average Nigerian man or an African man loves their mom unless there is something going on that we are oblivious to. But when it comes to that, I'm telling you, they love their mother. So most of them, in order to successfully grab them and keep them here, just show their mother love and you'll be all right. For the one told me from the onset, hey, <laughs> you need to show my mother love if you want to buy me off. I'm like, ah, is it not only to show your mother love? <laughs> I'm gonna kill him with love now. <laughs> I get a bucket full of love. I'm ready to shower her with all the love. Provided I have you here constantly. I don't have a problem. No being a love again. I go show I'm love. So that is how you're going to go about it. So <laughs> don't come there and be puffing your shoulder and be thinking that you can control everything. And when it comes to their mother, you will just trash talk them or you will just do anyhow because you are finally in the man's house. Before you know it, they will kick your ASS out. <laughs> They won't consider you to be anything. You will be shocked. So if you want to succeed in this area, I'm telling you, you just need to love their mother. It's as simple as that. Mm? Some people find it so difficult to show love to their mother-in-laws. It is true that there are some mother-in-laws that are so crazy, crazy mother-in-laws. <laughs> but you just have to do your own part. Some men will stand up and defend their wives when they see that their mothers are becoming something else. But there are some other men who don't know how to stand up to their mothers and tell them that this is wrong. So I pray that you don't ever find yourself in that kind of situation because you will have to be babysitting a grown-ass man. Number three, Nigerian men love women that can cook. I mean, women that cook good food. <laughs> Ladies, even if you don't know how to cook, you just have to intentionally learn how to cook the type of food that would entice these men. Eh? This particular point is related to the very first point I mentioned about you learning their culture and tradition. <laughs> Trouble go meet up you if you be say you marry at the one way grow for village. <laughs> We don't they chop chop where they pound from. I mean, like you don't they cook that kind hard hard chop them. If you meet up that kind one, we never leave plenty for Western world. He go expect you to do all those ones. So, but there are some men that are very very considerate. So you need to try, try your best. Let him see the effort you are putting in to learn how to cook his food. Okay, that alone will tell him that you are serious and that you are willing to really keep him as a husband. Go on YouTube, research. YouTube is an awesome resource platform 
platform for you to use to learn how to cook some traditional dishes. I'm pretty sure there are several hundreds and thousands of different cultural foods being cooked on YouTube so you can learn every step of the way so you don't have an excuse whatsoever if you like you can be good in every other area but if you're missing in this one then there is a problem it is true that there are some men who don't really care about food some nigerian men don't really care about food if you don't know how to cook that is fine if you don't know how to cook but you are good in other things they will not hold that against you but there are some that their stomachs have to be taken care of so you have to understand your environment and know exactly what is needed of you at every given point in time as for me, my case was quite simple because Fredu One is from Akwaibom and Akwaibom has a similar or almost identical culture with the Bayangi people in Cameroon. So the Bayangi people have Fufu and Eru. Meanwhile, in Akwaibom, they do have Afang soup. That Afang soup and Fufu and Eru, they are almost the same, but the way we cook it is slightly different. So I just needed to do a little bit of changes here and there in order to meet up. The same thing applies to other Akwaibom dishes. <music> Nigerian men love women who are very lively and jovial. So if you are the type of person that is always looking very angry, if you are the kind of person that doesn't know how to smile, who doesn't know how to be friendly with people, you have a problem. You have a serious problem at that point. You may not be able to keep a Nigerian man because most of them, they are very lively people. They like people coming around. They like family. They like, you know, so you can't be keeping a gloomy face. You can't be looking like somebody who has the problems of the entire world resting upon your head. Such that if you have visitors who come at home, you become an automatic repellent. <laughs> towards people who come to visit you listen you will find yourself out of that marriage in no time if you are not careful you have to love people around you especially if you're married or you're looking to marry a nigerian man you have to it's deliberate even when it looks like there is apparent tension in the house you should be able to ease it with your kindness don't use your negative countenance to repel friends your husband's friends who come around, <laughs> you're looking for trouble though. Even when you don't know how to be nice, even if it means pretending. My sister, you need to pretend to be nice because in the course of your pretense, you may end up just being a nice person. You will pretend until you eventually become what you're pretending. <laughs> yes, that is what I believe. So be nice. Number five, Nigerian men love women who know how to take care of business in bed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> remember in the last video, point number five said Nigerian men know how to take care of business in bed. So likewise, Nigerian men also like women who know how to take care of business in bed. That way, they can match up. Mm? So if you want to get a Nigerian man, be ready to loosen up. Okay, be ready to unleash. If you are the type of person that is uptight, you are not ready to release. <laughs> you are in for a long day, especially if you meet the one who is crazy about bed business. <laughs> Don't say I did not tell you. So this aspect is very, very important. Yeah, most men, they don't play with this part of it. If you like, cook from morning to night. Prepare all the delicious meals, continental Africa, whatever. <laughs> when you come to this aspect and you are lacking, you will find yourself packing out of that house in no time or an assistant will help you outside. It's as simple as that. So you need to make use of what God has blessed you with. Down there lies your natural charm. Down there lies your natural ability. So use it to entice. Use it adequately. So my ladies, if you are in, you are in. There is no two ways around it. So you have to make it happen. Otherwise, you have yourself to blame at the end of the day. After all, Nigerian men are very nice. They are very generous. Like I mentioned before, there is a price to be paid. You have to pay this price. If you don't pay the price, you ain't getting nothing, my dear sister. So you know what's up. You know what's at stake. Sit up and do what you're supposed to do. Point number six. 
six is another important one that I just thought of and it's imperative that I share it with you so you can add it to your blanket of points ladies respect you need to respect this Nigerian man if you have been a disrespectful or contentious person all your life and you're not willing to change at this point then this conversation is definitely not for you just hands out because you won't be able to handle this <laughs> maximum respect is required of you when it comes to dealing with a nigerian man don't forget they have their ego at stake here so that's why they are taking care of your every need every petty thing they take care of it just so that you will not sit and talk back at them or disrespect them in any way <laughs> so don't ever try to trample on a nigerian man's ego don't say that i did not tell you so <laughs> if you are not willing to respect him to the fullest especially that he's taking care of everything with respect to your relationship then it's a no-go area it's true that some men can be crazy they'll just be demanding for respect even when they're not living up to expectation <laughs> but when it comes to a nigerian man a correct nigerian man you need to give him the respect due so my Nigerian men, am I speaking your minds? Please come under the comment section and contribute. Add more because my exquisite ladies need to learn. <laughs> there is so much we need to learn. See, we are determined more than ever before to have you guys. We're going to keep you people right here. Eh? So come under here and tell us what more we need to know. Okay? Thank you so much everybody for watching. Thank you for always sticking around. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do that now. Join the exquisite family and support your girl. If this video meant a lot to you, please give it a fat thumbs up. That way I'll know what to do next time. Thank you so much again. God bless you. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.